Big Top is up in West Hartford. Flip Circus is in town. You're going to see trapeze, you're going to see clowns, jugglers, acrobats, but everybody from different parts of the world. But before the show begins, there are experts working behind the scenes to keep everyone safe. Each day we return um, before the show to just, again, just do a double check, uh, make sure that nothing has changed or nothing has moved. Sergeant Paul Maycook is part of the Connecticut State Police's Fire and Explosion Investigation Unit. Tasked with overseeing a circus like this one, every day that it's operating. We're looking for fire safety codes that are uh, adhered to, make sure that all of the appropriate regulations and state statutes that are in place for the safety of the public are complied with. And safety really is a priority from the ground up, with each of these stakes able to support 8,000 pounds, much more than is needed to keep the tent up. And we check to make sure that all the, the connections are fastened properly and that the uh, tension is, is correct on all, the, uh, on all the straps. The emphasis on safety here in Connecticut goes back decades. Strict regulations were put in place after the deadly Hartford Circus Fire of 1944. Nearly 170 people died, and the lessons learned still stand today. Our, our goal out here is to prevent any of those tragedies from occurring. And, and, and again, I think uh, you know, everybody is, is, is very aware of that and conscious of that and, and you know, works towards that end goal. The folks at Flip Circus say they share that goal, regardless of what state they're in. We do take very seriously everyone's safety so that when they come to the circus, all they need to concentrate on is having a good time. So folks can step right up, knowing outside and under the tent, all of the boxes have been checked. In West Hartford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.